Good morning. Hello. Welcome back. Hello there. I'm back. Your man said, I am here. Did you miss me? Why, of course you did. So, what have we been doing since you last saw your man in the shed? Well, don't know because I can't actually hear what you're saying. But I'll let you know a little bit about what I've been doing and clearly not been doing. And some of the things we've got planned coming soon. How exciting. Good news is I've got some new glasses coming. Had to sort my lighting out a bit. It was a bit woo. It's a bit dark out here. Put their main lights on. The lighting goes everywhere. So I had to go and get a lamp. So it's a bit of glow on me. That's it. So spring is on its way. That's good. It's warming up a bit over here now. Bad news though, Bill. That means down in Australia, it's going to start getting a bit colder. That's right, people. We are worldwide. Might only have about six viewers, but it doesn't matter. Left from all around the world, and that's good. It's been a busy couple of weeks, you know, I've been out working, well, driving around and delivering people their food. It's not the job I would have expected to be doing at this time, but hey, if you can't work in your normal job, you take what you can, and it's, it's all right. You know, don't mind it. People are nice, the customers generally are fine. What's wrong with that? So, like I say, got some uh, new stuff coming up. You know, this, this randomness doesn't just write itself. So I've been doing a bit of writing on a few different things, you know, to see how we can interest you people, see what you like, see what you don't like. Going from other YouTubers to stuff that seems to work well are deaf. Deaf is a, a seller, you know. People seem to enjoy a bit of death. So, you know, I'm not going to kill anyone, but, you know, what we got coming up then, we've got a few biographies or a few people coming soon. Moments of history, you know. And we're going to continue with the verses series. I've got a good idea of something I'm sort of working out in my head. It's not going to be music based. It's it's a bit nasty to be fair we're gonna put dictators against dictators and see which ones were the biggest dicks in the dictators so you know we might put the nazis up against the japanese for example and you know i'm not thinking you know, which one was the nastiest which one had the worst camps you know would you want to go from a nazi concentration camp into a Japanese concentration camp like one's going to be nicer that sort of thing um, plus we're going to do our normal talking about random rubbish like we do last night was the elimination chamber haven't watched it yet people so I'm not going to give any spoilers away haven't done predictions this time but I will give my view on it probably tomorrow or Wednesday you know I'll let everyone else get theirs done first not going to watch theirs before I do mine, but I'll give you my personal opinion. I'm sure you are all looking forward to that. Also, football, you know, what's going on there in the Premier League? Last year's champions seem to have um, fallen off their perch. Whew. Is it time Jurgen Klopp was fired? Is it time for him to go? What do you think? Do you think it's time for him to go? David Moyes also doing exceptionally well at West Ham. There you go, Bill. There's a shout out to you. Also, going to do a little bit on gaming. You know, we've all played FIFA and Resident Evil. Tomorrow, I am going to do a one on WWE Supercard for my man Bill over in Australia. See you, pal. And Josh and a few others who, and Ollie, hopefully will get to see it. You know, I was on a team in that game for about five years. Ended yesterday. No more no more team. Just got real. Just got deleted. Plus a bit on music. You know, everyone knows that I have the best music taste in the world. It's all about the metal. 
bit of politics, bit of religion. Let's have a look at your leaders and your, your gods and take the mickey out of them a bit. Don't worry, Mohammed. I'm not going to have a go on you because I don't want to die. And I'm going to do a bit of cooking because, after all, apparently I'm a chef. That's what they say. So, you know, we'll have a look at a bit of that. Might do a bit of that tomorrow or over the next couple of weeks. Definitely got some ideas in hand. If you haven't checked out my boy Ariel yet on his YouTube channel, then do go to the Knights of Hans, where you're going to get a variety of different things to watch going from some traditional Filipino and Southeast Asian cuisine, which is always good. What I do like about your videos, Ariel, is the fact that you will talk in Filipino and English and you'll switch between the two. But the last of your cooking videos I watched, there was a hell of a lot of Filipino talking and the occasional line of English. It was baffling. Don't know what you're going on about most of the time. You seem to be having a great time and that was great. Little tip here for you from obviously the man who knows everything you need to know about YouTube is if you're gonna do that, why not do one in Filipino and then one in English? I know it's a bit more of a struggle for you in English, my friend, but who are you trying to cater for? You can't cater for every language in one video. You're not going to have me start waffling away in French now, are you? Uh -huh. Probably not anyway. So don't worry, my fans. I am back. I will be back to annoy the hell out of you every morning, every afternoon and every evening that you want me to. I know you've been looking forward to it. I'm sure you've missed me. But the way I see it is the excitement of me being back will make up for me being away. Also, the shed's been done. It's been painted a bit. So I don't quite blend in as much. Also with the light where it is, I'm glowing more. I'm not gonna start wearing makeup because that's a bit gay. Also, on a, hello all the gays out there. Also, as of Wednesday, new glasses. These old glasses, they're gonna be changed with some new ones. I may actually be able to see what a plan that could be. Imagine that, me being able to see what I'm doing. Crazy ideas. Because I went there and it's like, yeah, really, you need to change these sort of glasses because these ones, you know, when you wanna drive and you wanna be able to read and you wanna be able to see where you're going, you sort of need to have the right glasses. And they hopefully won't keep doing that. It was mentioned on one of my videos that, hey, are these glasses wonky? Yeah, they are wonky. What can you do? They're a bit old. If you have a look at them, they're not really very level. I have had them a few years, so what were you expecting? Anyway, that's all to come. Hope you're all well. Looking forward to some new material soon. Stay safe. Obviously, we are still in these strange times where you can't really go out. All the pubs are shut. You know, most shops, obviously talking now about England, I don't know so much about other parts in the world, but in England, the pubs are still shut. That means that technically I don't work at the moment, although I have a another job which I do do to make up my... <laughs> It's a doo-doo. <laughs> anyway, I do have another job which supplements and makes up me 20% I was losing. Which actually means that I am now a key worker. Woohoo! I'm not going to put myself in the same line as a doctor or a nurse or a fireman or a policeman. But hey, you know, if I didn't deliver to the people that I deliver to, then they would have to go out to the shops and therefore more people will be mingling. So by being a delivery driver, technically, I'm saving the world. Oh, hey on me. I am your saviour. Thank you. Well, everybody.
that's the last of my ramblings for the moment. I will ramble on again later. Keep well, stay safe. You know, keep your distance. Please, everyone, keep your distance from me. I don't like you. I don't want you near me. Anyway, might do a bit on wrestling soon because, hey, who doesn't love a bit of wrestling? And I know you are all wanting to know what I want. I might do my predictions for the Elimination Chamber after the pay-per-view. Wow. Who doesn't want to hear that? How the hell am I supposed to find out what matches took part and what didn't happen at the same time? Because if you go in and put Elimination Chamber matches on any search engine, whether it's Google or Safari, and I'm rambling a bit now and I get that, they're going to give you the results, aren't they? So I can't do it. But hey, I'm hoping Roman Reigns is still your Universal Champion and he's going to face Edge. It has to be Edge at WrestleMania. There you go. That's my prediction. Main event, WrestleMania, the Rated R Superstar against your Tribal Chief. He's going to win. Hopefully it's going to be Edge. But hey, that's my prediction. There you go. Now I've said it. It's what everyone in the world wanted to know. Main event WrestleMania, Roman Reigns versus Edge. Coming soon though, Hulkamaniacs. I'm going to do a biographics on the Hulkster. That's right, my biography. My person in time from history. My next one, I've already got planned. That's a footballer, but I'm going to do the Hulkster. I might even do Stone Cold. I might even do a bit of the Attitude Era. Who knew? Anyone who knows me knows I love the Attitude Era. It's both the best time for wrestling, but a bit of it was a bit rubbish. I've done this on an earlier video. If you want to check that out, then please do. But your boy is back. That's the good news. The bad news is I will now bombard you with my waffle. Hope you enjoy it. Look forward to seeing you soon. Well, some of you anyway. Not all of you. I'm not looking so forward to seeing. But hey, there you go. It was nice to talk to you. If you know that I'm one of those. If you know that you are one of those that I don't want to waffle to and talk to and see anymore. Stay away. You know who you are. Maybe. Not sure I've told you, but hey. There you go. That's one of life's little mysteries for you. I've got my coffee. There's my seagull. Woo Who doesn't like a seagull? I'm always told, hey, Ant, when we go to the beach, why is it with you need seagulls? No one likes seagulls. Seagulls are great. Don't care what anyone says. I like a seagull. You know, they're aggressive, they're nasty, and everybody hates them. Sounds all right to me. Sounds all right to me. And that's right, Abiel, it's coffee. Because to start of the day, you have tea with your breakfast. And straight afterwards, you have coffee. So there you go. So what have I done today already? So we've sent AD to school because he doesn't do any schoolwork at home. So you can go to school. Nikki's a key worker. She works in a school. Let's get rid of him so we can actually do some work at school. We went to the garage because the clutch on... The little car is going, so we went over there. Oh yeah, by the way, you've got to sort of buy this yourself because Hyundai are on strike, so yeah, whatever. Okay, we'll get that. Today is the announcement from how we're going to come out of lockdown by the Prime Minister Boris Johnson. We'll see his views. I will do a bit of politics a bit later in the week. Everyone loves that. Everyone's going to be like, oh God, why is he doing that? You've got two people in this world. You've got your right wingers and your left wingers. But I'm neither. I'm more centre right than centre left. But, you know, that's because most of the world, well, most of the world which actually is prosperous is more slightly to the right than the left. 
Yeah. We'll go more into that later in the week. Religion. I said I was going to have a go on religion. You know, we're going to look more into, not necessarily the beliefs, well, obviously you have to look into the beliefs of the religions, but we're also going to look at the what people love about the religions, what is good about the religions, but what people dislike, you know, going back to our beloved dictators. You know, certain religions have been basically there to be kicked for millennia. And we'll have a look at that and sort of figure out why is that then? Because personally, I don't have a problem with you or your religion don't put it on me. But this is the other thing about religion, okay? I wouldn't personally put myself down as religious, nor would I most of my friends and people I know. But it's funny how in times of grief, we sort of, you find a bit of religion, don't you? You know, you may not day to day, week to week, go to church, do confessions if that's your faith, or just go to church and do whatever or wherever else you could go obviously showing my lack of knowledge here on um on religion go to your synagogues or your temples wherever say your prayers you know some people you know and if that's that thing that they want to be very very religious then that's great you know go off and be whatever you want to be but the whole world doesn't need to uh know about it you know believe in your god or gods or whoever just don't stick it in our faces yeah we don't all want to believe in your pretend friend you know your god your beliefs you know it's up to you one thing i am going to do is religious um times you know we got easter coming up and Christmas, there are others. I'm not going to mention them now because I'm not really sure what they're called. But anyway, so this is a quick one for you. Why is Christmas, as in the nation, not necessarily the religion that believe in Christ, but as a nation, you know, celebrate Easter and Christmas, why do we celebrate more Christmas, I would say, generally, than Easter? And I ask this question for a reason. Bill, I've done this one in a text to you before, my friend, and you seem to enjoy it. But uh, how is Christmas more important than Easter? Because, and I'll give you a reason. At Christmas, the baby of Jesus was born. Okay, it's the birth of Christ. We decided to put it in December because Christmas, hey, this be fair, winter sucks. Obviously, talking about the Northern Hemisphere here, you know, where all the important people live, Bill. Not down, down the southern part of some, some great big rock in the middle of uh, oceans and that, you know, splitting the Indian and the Pacific Oceans. You know, you're down there where we send our convicts, but, uh, so where was I again? Oh yeah, so in the North we decide, yeah, it could be in December because winter sucks, let's have something to celebrate there. So then we have Easter. So for me, Easter should be more celebrated, should be a bigger thing than Christmas because on Good Friday, if my religion memory suits me, serves me well, is Jesus was sacrificed, he died on the cross, and then he was, if I believe, he was taken off the cross, put in some cave somewhere, I don't know why he did that, and then two days later, he came back to life. Yeah, so Christmas, the baby Jesus was born, was a baby, didn't really do a lot, cried, probably wanted food, slept a bit, crapped a bit, pissed a bit, does what babies do, and then 
At Easter, he was dead and he came back to life. Which one's more impressive to you? I know which one's more impressive to me. And it isn't a baby being born because that happens around the world many times a day. It's a baby. It's a baby. You know, unless it's yours. <laughs> Great. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Proud of you. I suppose being 2,000 years ago, though, it was quite impressive because, you know, we don't have modern medicine. So the chances of getting some sort of illness, probably more there. Anyway, that's me waffled on far longer than I planned to. But it's going to give you a bit of a taster of the randomness of what is to come. So I hope you're looking forward to the next couple of weeks. As I say, we've got quite a bit coming up. I've done quite a bit of writing over the last week or so. A bit of planning. You know, you don't just make stuff like this up on the fly. Well, some of it I did, but hey, there you go. Anyway, please do give a like. Do share this content with random weirdos from around the world if you choose to would be fantastic do leave a comment you know if you've got anything you'd like me to cover then please leave us a comment and we'll have a look into it try and give a bit of feedback if i feel it's worth it you know have a laugh at this let's enjoy it and that's peace see you pals